back. I'm back again with the profile. This time, now we are doing the final mate of Space Godzilla Final Wars. We are doing Blood Goji. Blood Goji is actually a actually a underworld kaiju. So yeah, me, she's a kaiju straight from hell. Her age is basically unknown since she lay since she lived for centuries. And she's probably a little bit more older than she may or may not be older than Space Time of Final Wars herself himself. But yet again, Space Time of Final Wars is still a young male, but he will have Well to or well, I'll show you guys what he will look like when he gets a little bit more older. Actually, because I still need to, I'm still working on what he will look like when he's fully grown. Because, okay, I'll tell you, he'd be fully grown. The way I can tell he he'd be fully grown is certain features on his body, and he'll be over three hundred thirty meters. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's how you can tell if he's really fully grown, actually. And his dorsal plates will change as well. But yeah, let me go on with with his mate. Her height is around three hundred and twenty and twenty. Actually, he had, she's actually the same height as him, actually. Yes, he is. She is actually the same height as Space Gods on Fire Wars too. Her age, like I said, is unknown. But her personality, she is basically similar. Her personality is like similar to Celine, John Wick, and Batman. Her family tree, she is actually related to the devils, the devil of all devils. And she's considered to be as the goddess of all werewolf all vampires and the mother of Dracula. And her two uh, her three other siblings and her two other siblings are Are Werewolf or Razilla? But you just call him freaking White Fang. Yeah, White Fang and Gularak, who's like a gigantic ghoul like kaiju. And there are a few more, I'm still, I think. I don't know, Scar Destroyer. Since I'm doing a remake of Space Destroyer's profile, the Dyer gave the Dyer made his fit, final design, and and since I'm giving him new abilities, yeah. Yeah, so he has a lot of kids. He he, he like have like I don't know, like ten of them. I mean, he actually has eleven, yeah. And I ain't going to go over all of them, so yeah. Her mother, their mother is all, all, all lover that mother is unknown. Also, she is the first, she's literally the second oldest out of her family. Or the second oldest sibling. But she was driven out by her father. But she was driven out by her father. From their home. From their home when... She had a treachery with another vampire since she was, well, her mate was a werewolf vampire kaiju hybrid. So, Space Cards of Fire is actually her second husband, actually, because her first husband actually did die. Yeah, she died 
Yeah, he died by the hands of Scar Destroyer, and he was well, by Space Destroyer. He actually did banish her from their home. But unknown to her, but unknown to him, he she was carrying his child. A couple months later, Dag was born. They had, and she had a little werewolf vampire kaiju hybrid. And her name is. For now, she has no name since I'm, since I might leave that in the comments below. But <clears throat> she met when her and her daughter was sleeping. They ended up getting an unexpected visitor, and they met her future husband and her daughter's future stepfather. Space Godzilla Final Wars himself. The two got to the two, the two got to know each other very well, and, and Space Final Wars actually did more did more like a father, they acted more like a father figure to, to Blood Goji's daughter. Later on, he introduced her to the rest of his clan. And to and to his two other mates and and the rest and his other and his kids. So yeah. <clears throat> go about the combat skill. Go about to appearance. <sighs> you know, moving on to appearance. She looks like the un the unused. Concept art for Godzilla Final Wars. <clears throat> yeah, she looks the unused concept art for Godzilla Final Wars. But she has, she has Muto, she has Muto like eyes. Yes, she has Muto like eyes. And and full on Shinga and full on. Well, xenomorph, xenomorph like tongue, a xenomorph tongue, a xenomorph blade of tail. But yeah, she has a lot of combos with a freaking xenomorph. Such as acid like blood. Yeah, acid like blood. Xenomorph, te xenomorph tongue. Well, double, double jaw tongue. And. Xenomorph bladed tail and able to blend in with their surroundings. And able to shoot and, and able to shoot as like spit. Oh yeah, she can regenerate pretty fast, similar to her hut to her mate. And she is also able to draw the blood from from her victims. Or you know, turn them into a vampire as well. Yeah, those are her abilities. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I may go over. I, it's something I may go over. Have her abilities. Oh yeah, she also has super speed, super strength, and <clears throat> oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. She also has vampire like fangs, and her eyes are light blue with purple in it. Oh yeah, and what color in her cup in the color of her dorsal spines? Well the color of her her top breath. Black and black with silver with a silver ray. But yeah. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this profile. Tell me down in the comments below who you guys want to hear about next because I'm doing, because, guys, tell me down in the comments below who you guys want me to do next. Either a remake of Space Destroyer, Space Godzilla Final Wars, where he's fully grown, or, or the other ones, Hornzilla. Yeah, a remake of Hornzilla. 
Space King Ghidorah, Space Mecha Godzilla, Space Rodan, or Space Ink Gyrus. Tell me down in the comments below. Peace.